What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean your throttle body on your G35 or 350Z. Now if you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out my how to clean your mass airflow sensor video. Then you can go ahead and get started working on this because they kind of go hand in hand with each other, especially at the end of this video when we're going to be doing the reset procedures. It's good to have both of those two clean so that they can be both working together. So before we get started, you're going to want to make sure that you pick up some throttle body and air intake cleaner. If you guys do have some mass airflow sensor cleaner laying around this might work however throttle body cleaner is a lot more heavy duty and will get up all those carbon deposits that are sit and dirt pretty much that is sitting inside of your throttle body so pick up this you're probably gonna want a flathead screwdriver as well as maybe a Phillips to get your intake off either that or a 10 millimeter socket wrench and uh, yeah so let's go ahead and get started now it's always a good idea to clean your throttle body if you are having any idling issues or if you've had the car for a long time and you got about 50,000 miles or so on it you probably have a lot of carbon dirt slash whatever crud build up in there so it's a good idea to clean it up and you know get the most airflow out of your out of your throttle body and get the most performance out of your VQ pop your hood so here we are that's an engine if you guys still have your engine cover, you might want to take it off because it might be in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the whole intake and I already have my engine cover removed. The next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and unplug your battery. This way we don't short anything out or cause any other issues. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen up this clamp, this clamp and take off my whole intake. You guys are also taking off your intake and you do not have a catch cam mod you will probably have a hose connected to this right here it's gonna be this hose you'll just disconnect that and the intake will come right off now once you have your intake off you can go ahead and start taking off these four bolts around the throttle body you're probably gonna want to remove this plug that's inside of the throttle body first so let's go ahead and remove that you're gonna want to use an allen key to go ahead and loosen up these four bolts get your throttle body off it's probably a good idea to go ahead and pick up a throttle body gasket before you go ahead and do this but since i'm going to be changing out my throttle body soon i just thought i would just reuse the gasket and go from there and there we have it our throttle body. Okay, I got our throttle body laying on the ground over here. Take a look on the inside of the throttle body. You can see there is a lot of gunk and a lot of buildup that could be affecting our airflow. You're probably gonna want a microfiber towel so that you can start wiping it up after you spray it with the throttle body cleaner. So let's just leave it right here. Be very careful when you guys are moving this butterfly valve right there. It is electronic and it might mess up something in here if you're way too rough with it. I do have experience cleaning these G35 throttle bodies and I've never had any issues after I have touched it before. Let's just go ahead and be very gentle when we're getting in there and cleaning. Let's go ahead and take our throttle body cleaner and attack it. Just give it a nice spray. Take your microfiber towel and just start wiping away all of the crud that is in there. Make sure you get in there nice and deep, but don't be too rough on that butterfly valve. You're probably gonna wanna go ahead and spray it a few times because this stuff does evaporate very quickly. Now when you're trying to clean the inside here by the by the uh, the butterfly valve, go ahead and just hold down the butterfly valve, be nice and gentle, and hold it open with your finger, and then you can go ahead and get in there and wipe it down with the microfiber towel. She is all nice and clean. It is a good idea to wipe down your gasket if you're going to reuse it. Go ahead and wipe it down so there's no, uh, no dirt or anything on there that'll get any air leaks, and go ahead and put everything back together. All right, so I just got the throttle body back installed. Let's go ahead and plug it back in. We're gonna go ahead and get our intake back on and then we're gonna get started on the reset procedures. It's definitely a good idea to go ahead and clean your mass airflow sensor too before you do these reset procedures. Um, so if you guys have any questions on doing that, go ahead and check out my mass airflow sensor cleaning video. First things first, when you have everything back together, you wanna make sure that your car starts. <laughs> Looks like everything's working just fine. So let's go ahead and turn the car off. Now to do your reset procedures, it is crucial that you have a stopwatch ready to go because you're gonna have to do everything exactly on time. So let's go ahead and run through the instructions. So first you're gonna wanna confirm that the accelerator pedal is fully released. Make sure that you turn the ignition to the on switch, not all the way on, but into accessory mode and wait three seconds. Exactly three seconds after, you're going to want to fully depress and then release the accelerator pedal five times within five seconds. Let's go ahead and press it. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. 
Then after the five times, you want to wait seven seconds and then fully depress the accelerator pedal and keep it for about 10 seconds until the CEL lights start blinking. Once it starts blinking, fully release the accelerator pedal and then wait about 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, fully depress the accelerator pedal and keep it for more than 10 seconds. Then go ahead and release it. It'll continue to blink. Then go ahead and turn your ignition to off and you can now start the car and then the CEL light should be gone and your ECU should be reset. Now, if you do not do everything exactly on time, then it won't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it right now. So I pressed it five times, now I'm gonna wait seven seconds. Fully depress the pedal. Let it go at 10 seconds when you see the service engine light blinking. Let go and wait 10 seconds. Go ahead and press it after the 10 seconds. Keep it for another 10 seconds. And go ahead and let it go and turn your car off. Now you can go ahead and start the car. And the ECU has now been reset. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the accelerator pedal release position learning. You wanna make sure that the accelerator is fully released, turn the ignition on, wait two seconds. After the two seconds, turn it off. Then do it again, turn it on, wait two seconds. And that one's fairly easy. Start, turn this on for two seconds. One, two. Turn it off, one, two, and then wait 10 seconds. Turn it on again for two seconds. Turn it off and wait another 10 seconds. Now we're going to go ahead and learn the throttle valve close position learning. Make sure that the accelerator pedal is fully released, turn the ignition on, and then turn it to off and wait 10 seconds. Make sure that the throttle valve moves during the above 10 seconds by confirming the operating sound. So go ahead and turn it on, and then turn it off, and wait about 10 seconds. Now we're gonna go ahead and learn the idle air volume learning. Go ahead and start up your engine and warm it up to normal operating temperature. Then once your car is at normal operating temperature, you're gonna to wanna to turn the ignition off and wait at least 10 seconds. So let's see where my temperature is at right now. You can see my temperature needs to just heat up a little bit more, but once it goes up just a little bit, it'll be at regular operating temperatures. And then we can go ahead and continue with the idle air relearn. Okay, so we are at normal operating temperatures. Let's go ahead and shut off the car. We're gonna go ahead and give it about 10 seconds. So let's put it in accessory mode for three seconds. One, two, three. Then tap your pedal five times. Wait seven seconds. And then go ahead and fully depress on your accelerator pedal and hold it for 20 seconds until the check engine light stops blinking and turns on completely. All right, it's fully on, let go. and then go ahead and start the engine and let it idle. Wait about 20 seconds and then go ahead and give it some revs. I can't really do that right now because I am in a gated community and I have a straight pipe exhaust and it's not very good here, so we're not gonna do that. But go ahead and give it some revs and that'll help your car relearn the throttle. I can go ahead and do it when I take it for a drive. It'll be just the same, so. Thank you guys for watching this. Um, I hope that you know it was really helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. 
and I'll be here to help you guys. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much, and I will catch you guys in the next one.